So it's not uncommon to have a sleepless night from time to time, but sleepless nights can lead to heart attacks. That's the subject of our weekly look at how to get and stay healthy. Dr. Bill Lloyd, our healthy living expert, joining us now from Sacramento. Something tells me you get a lot of sleep. You're always so rested and perky. So, Dr. Bill, uh, what's the difference between an occasional sleepless night and insomnia? Fred, all of us lose sleep every once in a while. It might be because of a big job interview you have the next day, or maybe you're sitting for a deposition in front of Richard. Who knows? But uh, people who have insomnia have a perpetual sleep problem. It could be one of three things. You can't fall asleep, you can't stay, as uh, stay asleep, you wake up multiple times during the night, or you wake up in the morning and you don't feel rested. Mm -hmm. And it happens more than once a week. If that's the problem, oh. you've got insomnia. Oh my goodness, so how can a lack of sleep then lead to something dangerous like a heart attack or heart disease? Well, this information is uh, coming to us from a first-of-its-kind study. This involved over 50,000 volunteers in Europe, and doctors followed these patients for 11 years. In addition to all the usual health milestones, they sat and asked them, hey, tell us about your sleep. Do you sleep all night? Do you have to get up during the night, etc." And then they correlated that information with the health of these individuals. Of that large group, 2,400 developed a heart attack over that 11-year period. And when they crunched the numbers, Frederica, they found out an upwards of 45% uh, increased risk of heart attack in the people who claimed they had trouble with sleep. Oh, my goodness. So what causes insomnia? It, can it be as simple as, you know, I'm just stressed out, like the many people in Detroit, which turns out to be in a most sleep-deprived city? Yeah, I tell my patients insomnia falls into one of three different categories. It could be a medical problem, something like heart failure will keep you up during the night. It could be your medications that are keeping you up at night as well. It could be other problems, like you said, anxiety or pain. Patients in chronic pain have a terrible time getting a full night's sleep. But most of the time, Frederica, it's due to mm -hmm. poor sleep hygiene. Poor habits, like eating too much before bedtime, exercising too much before bedtime, and bringing that laptop into the bed with you. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so define full night's sleep for me. Are, are we talking about eight hours? Now, to find that number, we might as well be debating about the flat tax, because it's, <laughs> it's different for, for each person, of course, mm. and uh, there's a lot of myths about how much sleep you need. Mm. Young people need a lot of sleep because they're growing, but older people need a lot of sleep as well. I'll tell you this, if you find yourself drowsy during the day, daytime mm. sleepiness, it means you're not getting enough. So before you run out and go buy sleeping pills over the counter, treat yourself to some good sleep habits and get yourself to bed earlier than you normally would and get up, here's the secret, get up the same time every day. Oh really? Oh boy, that's a tough thing to do. All right, we're gonna try. Try real hard. I kind of think for me, I need eight, nine, maybe ten for a good full night's sleep. <laughs> I'll, right. I'll grab it whenever, I'll grab it whenever I, I can. I get those cat naps in all the time. All right, thanks so much, Dr. Bill Lloyd, appreciate that.